to Milan we go. Thank you. I know I owe you a, a review. <laughs> I owe you a review. That's what I'm gonna do in the car. All right, we are headed to Milan. We are at the train station. Just need to grab a ticket. I think it's like a three hour ride. So, yeah. We are just on our way. City hopping in Italy. Yeah, for now. Um, uh, this is an excellent for in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe this one, three or five or three hours and you arrive five minutes before. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that one. Okay. And we, do you want the cheapest way, the first class? Uh, what's the difference? In the first class, you can eat and drink snacks, okay? I can buy snacks or it's already there? No, no. Uh, in the first class, are uh, uh, only included in the price. Okay, yeah. Then let's try that. <laughs> Might as well. You have to pay a difference. Okay. I need the first name. Thank you. So, um, more of the just waiting for my platform announcement, and then we'll head our way. So we have been held for the last 20 minutes because apparently there has been an accident or crash with a person. So they are not letting anyone exit the train until the authorities show up. Welcome to Milan, Jazzy. been released from the train. Now I am in the taxi line. Luckily I'm only like 20 minutes from my destination, Central Milan, so should be not crazy. Not too bad. Hey everyone, we are walking in Milan to lunch and I will say that um, I've been to Italy before, I've been to Rome, um, did like a day trip to Capri, but I've never been to Milan and it's a little, what's the word, it's a little grungy, I guess I was expecting glitz and glam because everyone is always like, ooh, Milan. But that ain't the part I'm in. So yeah, it's like 
basically have to walk everywhere. It's like 30, 40 minutes walks. Today there is a public transportation strike, so I can't really like catch the train or the bus to certain places. Um, and you know, like as an American, we don't really be walking that much. <laughs> Aside from New Yorkers, of course, but like, bro, not trying to walk. So yeah, I'm just getting used to that. I guess it's also good because eating so much pasta, it'd be helpful to walk it off. But anyway, that's the update. I'm really excited. I'm actually going to a Senegalese restaurant for lunch. So I can't wait to try the food. I'm waiting for the owner or the cook to come and so I can order and get my food. I also just forgot that like at many African restaurants that are traditional, you can't be like really on a tight schedule because they gonna come when they come, baby. The food gonna be good. So he says I must wait, right? I don't know. Some good Senegalese food? Yes. <laughs> this looks like in Italy for my last leg of travel we're going to Naples and then we're going to the wedding but I will say I don't think Italians like black people that much <clears throat> I mean I won't go into like history and all that stuff but just know that the looks the energy all the way from customs to just like service it's been very like clear that something is off about me and I'm sweet so it ain't me but yes now we're at baggage claim and then we're gonna head to Naples um, yeah. it's not too crazy for a Wednesday afternoon Checking back in to the vlog, the Italy vlog. And you know, I'm not having the best experience right now, but I'm realizing a vlog should include the highs and the lows. So we're gonna show the low. Booked an Airbnb and I feel like my room is just not what it was supposed to be. I'm in Naples. It's supposed to be the sea view, view the sea view room not huge but a pretty large room you know a decent sized room that would allow me to excuse me that would allow me to do my daily yoga it's you know i try to i typically try to book places that have a view and enough space for me to do yoga now of course it's not always a success um, but this room has like mad extra furniture in it. And that's the really cool supposedly view. And then the bed is right there. Now the original room that I saw was much more spacious on that side. Nothing there. Um, this same view and a nice bed. Again, much more spacious. <laughs> Because right now, I can't do yoga nowhere in this vicinity. Um, first, I reach out to the Airbnb host. He's like, you can't choose whatever room you get. Whatever room you we have available is the one that you get. Now, again, I what, the pictures of the room that I saw on Airbnb look much different from the Airbnb room that I'm in right now. But this is a lesson in paying attention to details which is something that I struggle with in many facets of life from investment banking to booking a damn Airbnb sometimes. 
apparently there were multiple rooms on the Airbnb, but I only browsed or perused through the first five to 10 pictures. Had I gone all the way to the end of the 20 some odd pictures that I would have seen that there are three rooms that this person has and I could have gotten any one of those. Um, so I could have saved myself some disappointment and also feeling like I wasted my money. Um, but I checked in kind of late, like towards the end of the day. It's now dark outside. It's about to be 8.30. Um, even in contacting Airbnb, it's kind of like, I mean, we can try to help you, but the the likelihood of being able to book a new Airbnb tonight is very unlikely. Um, and I'm only staying here for two days. So now I'm just kind of feeling like maybe I just need to like chalk it up and take the L. But I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Because Airbnb, my my place where I reside in a place is very important to me because I need to have, you know, the Zen is important to me. I need the space for my space and for my yoga and, you know, all the things. So, yeah, I just thought it was, you know, necessary to document this. Um, really important. And, yeah, so another lesson learned. Uh, I'll update you on whether or not I was able to get a new room or if I just kind of like took this L, which is highly likely. So we are on what day, is it day like 10, 9 or 10 of travel? Gelato a day, baby. Um, in Naples, heading to Puglia tomorrow for the wedding. Um, very excited to see my friends and to celebrate my friends. Um, but Naples has been, it's been chill, it's been cool, um, but I think I'm kind of ready to go home already. <laughs> I think I should maybe go in this park though. I typically don't like walking, but I've been doing some walking in Naples and it's been nice. I feel like they have the coolest looking buildings, for sure. This bus situation is very chaotic. <laughs> From the bus station to where I'm supposed to go. I mean, I just, especially with my non-Italian speaking ass. But you know what, we move. We're gonna figure it out, baby. Bus station after 
asking a lot of Italian people who probably don't speak much English if I'm in the right spot. It seems like I'm in the right spot. But I will say the bus station is definitely giving mega bus, which is very um, comforting. I feel like I, this is chaos, I understand. <laughs> So I missed my bus. I won't say people try to sabotage me on purpose, but I did. So I had to rebook another one. Um, but the bus is here and we are about to board. So praise God. I'm stressed. All public transport requires masks, which is great. Um, yeah, we made it. <laughs> and I got to change my seat, which is great. Although this window is quite dirty. Either way, we're moving. This is huge and beautiful. Go.
say is a time was had we had a time last night okay at a very beautiful hotel very beautiful wedding beautiful people lots of love but I'm beat two weeks of travel two week Euro trip and I'm beat I really am so now I'm just gonna go to my favorite spot in the place which is 